Hi, this is Dr. Payne recording from Tucson, Arizona. Today we have a question from our YouTube subscriber. Let's do analysis and see how to solve this one. To send your own questions, please consider subscribing our channel. Analysis looks something like this. The most important part is really locating this angle. The way you are locating which quadrant is at is to find a carat with a multiple of 2 pi is because 2 pi just goes around the circle. The 5 pi over 3, well, there's two ways you can look at this. 5 pi over 3, you can convert it into degrees. That's in fourth quadrant because it's a 3... 270 is over here and 30 more gives you 300 degrees or you can see well 5 pi over 3 is really just uh, pi over 3 60 degrees away from going back all the way to where it started at 0 either way you end up in quadrant 4 after you get into the quadrant 4 the rest is pretty easy in the quadrant 4 this triangle with the 30 over here looks like uh, hypotenuse is 1 in unit circle the 30 degrees angle always is up opposite to the half of what the hypotenuse is, in our case is half, and the things in the fourth quadrant, the y value is a negative. With all this one drawn out, the rest of it is pretty easy to find a sine, cosine, and a tangent. So let's write this up. Alright, so here's the solution. Theta is in the fourth quadrant. Here's the fourth quadrant. The terminal uh, point is half and minus radical 3 over 2. Sine is the y value. Cosine is the x value of the terminal point. So it's radical square, square roots of 3 over 2. Uh, for sine with a minus sign and uh, cosine is half tangent is y over x and that's minus uh, Square roots of three. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona Please comment share or like this video together. We can make math easy again. Have a confident day